Hey everybody, here's a look at the Corpus Christi Lithium Refinery Plant. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're at Corpus Christi, the Tesla Lithium Plant here. And the last time I was uh, visiting here and did a video was the early part of March. And there's been a lot of changes over the last couple of months. Uh, significant changes, to be honest. Now, first off, if you're driving here, coming in from the north on the frontage road, this is the image or the view that you would have of that plant as you drive uh, to the south and look off to the right. Now you can definitely tell where it is now. There's so much superstructure to see that it's really hard to miss. So if you do come out here, it's a great place now to be able to see what's going on. But we got a drone, so let's get into the air and let's take a look around the site. And a few things that I do want to show here on the intro. Uh, first of all, the first half of the lithium plant is now well underway with considerable amount of the superstructure, the tanks, uh, some of the other structures, of course, the rotating kiln and cooler. And now, as you can tell by this image, that material processing facility is well underway. Now this is that large facility where the spodumene concentrate six will be originally uh, delivered via the rail spur that has not yet been constructed, but will connect the railroad that you see right behind me over to that facility. And that will begin the entire process of the uh, refining. Now we also see uh, more work on the second half of the uh, graded area and this is going to be where phase two or the second parallel processing part of the factory will be placed. Also we got a chance to take a look at the original lithium uh, sign that was used back during the groundbreaking and it's a quick image showing you what that was like back uh, uh, last year and of course now what it looks like and uh, through this image over that lithium plant uh, archway you can see the amount of progress that has happened since that uh, groundbreaking. Now there's a lot more that I do want to point out but I'm going to save that for the video as well but uh, I hope that uh, you enjoy what you're able to see and this great update uh, of the Tesla lithium plant here at Corpus Christi. So without further ado, let's get in the drone, let's fly around and let's see what it looks like here today. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. Good morning here at the Corpus Christi Lithium plant and as you can tell as we arrive in where most of the work is being done a significant amount of change has happened in the last couple of months since I was last here. Now where we are flying right now is over the uh, production portion of the entire site and this new structure that you see uh, being uh, constructed with the uh, steel is part of that raw materials uh, processing. This is where the spodumene concentrate six that arrives at the port and through rail will be delivered. And then this is where it is sorted and prepared to go into the processing plant, which is off to the right of the screen. We also see more of the grade work for uh, material staging near this location. That's that large kind of light tan uh, field with all of that equipment in it. And then we also see underneath the drone more work continuing to proceed away from this main site. Now all of this is still the property for the uh, Tesla lithium plant. So they have a lot of room in which to grow. And at the bottom right, you can see more of that earthwork that is underway. Now, as I continue to fly um, uh, in this direction, I'm gonna look back to where the main plant is being constructed. And there are two parallel processing lines. They are working on the first of the two right now. And in that large clearing in the upper left of the screen is where the second half of that will eventually be. As I turn back towards the east and the north, we can see this large 
field with more equipment and materials, those two Quonset hut type tents, and of course those large water detention ponds in the upper right. I also wanted to show you this road that is trailing off to the north. You see all these power lines that uh, parallel the road, and at the very top left of the screen is where a new electrical substation has been installed, and this is what is providing power for the lithium plant right now. And uh, this is a great sign because the lithium plant is going to need quite a bit of power to operate uh, all of the various processes that uh, uh, will be entailed with uh, taking that spodumene concentrate 6 and producing the lithium hydroxide. And we've talked about this in my multi-part series before. Uh, so you can take a look at that to get more details. Now as we arrive in here on the north end of the main construction site, again those Quonset huts on the bottom left, those kind of rounded top tents, a lot of the materials that are being staged here for further uh, installation. We do see some uh, kind of structure uh, beam items. We see some tanks and a bunch of other uh, construction items that will be used to finish off that uh, first half of that production facility and we'll see a lot more of this arriving for that second half as well. Now these large ponds that you uh, can see at the bottom and center of the screen is part of the water management system here. This is a low-lying area and it is prone to uh, groundwater and flooding. Uh, this is not related at all to lithium processing. It is not a brine tank. The processes that they will in, you know, use and employ here at the lithium plant is considerably different than that kind of process. Uh, in addition to the water management uh, uh, function of these ponds, the uh, crews have also been using it for uh, dust mitigation around the construction site by uh, spraying the water onto the dirt to keep it down, especially now that we're into the summer. It's a lot hotter and a lot more winds come through the area. Now I'll pause the video here from this vantage point and overlay the official rendering. This is a good view of how the processing plant will look when completed. You can see the two parallel lines and the upper right with the Tesla on the roof. That is that raw materials facility that we see being assembled right now. And we'll get some closer views in a moment. But as we are in this northeast corner, I'm going to fly back towards the south along this portion of the facility. Again, the water detention ponds on the right, some of the uh, areas where some of the water is uh, collected and used uh, here and picked up by trucks around the site. We can also see some further development uh, near this uh, road that's coming off to the right-hand side of the screen, and that's the main road or entrance into the facility. And not only do we see some materials here, but in the bottom right we see some more electrical components that would be potentially used for a, another switch uh, yard or maybe an expansion of that for more electricity. Also in the bottom left we see this large cleared location. It's got a lot of pipeworks and uh, manifolds, so this could be related to a water system. Uh, now, this site is not serviced by city water, so much of the water that they will be using here will most likely be reclaimed and uh, at least supplemented for this site. Now, as we zoom in, this is a good view of the first half of the processing facility, most of this superstructure with some of the tanks that you see and of course the ground slabs that we've been monitoring the construction of is really starting to progress. This is part of the hydrometallurgical portion of the processing plant. That means that it uses a lot of uh, solutions, aqueous and basically liquid solutions to process the uh, spodumene concentrate as it goes through the various uh, processes and eventually becomes lithium hydroxide. And we see a good view here of uh, work uh, continuing on that superstructure installation. Uh, many cranes along the uh, site today, so there is a lot of activity, which uh, I think is great to see and it uh, just gives you a good idea of the uh, progress that they are now making on the site. Now as we continue to uh, fly in this direction, uh, more of that uh, white painted superstructure and more of those very large tanks, again part of that hydrometallurgical processing portion of the facility. Uh, on the left of the screen, just coming into view, is now where we're transitioning to the pyrometallurgical processing, which involves heating. 
and the item that you see in that uh, kind of white jacketed uh, uh, tube is the rotating or the rotary cooler and then on the top that kind of rusty large tube is a rotary kiln and this uses a lot of heat and something called a calcination process to initially change that spodumene concentrate in alpha form to beta form which is more reactive and then that is what is used to move into that hydrometallurgical processing portion of the factory. And again, you can take a look at my multi-part series. I go into that much more detail. Now we do see this new Quonset uh, rounded top structure that has been added. I believe that's going to be temporary for right now. And also in this general location is where a railroad spur will be added and then uh, come up along this part of the site over to this large steel structure, which is that raw materials processing portion of the factory. And in that render that I showed you, it's a really good view of what this will look like. You can also tell that this, uh, fa this uh, facility is somewhat asymmetrical, so it's got a longer uh, pitch to the roof on the east side than on the west side. And uh, it looks to me like uh, at least maybe, I don't know, 40-50% of the steel structure has been assembled at this point in time. So I'm going to continue to fly around and we'll resume the narration here shortly on the different portion of this part of the site. As we round the north part of this uh, processing a facility, we can see that there's a large kind of a pit structure that's being constructed. Uh, good uh, view down into this uh, site. Now, uh, my previous video, we saw how this was being excavated and they were doing a preparatory work, but now it looks like it's uh, progressed quite a bit uh, further. Most of the concrete's been poured that gives that uh, basic shape and now they're putting in some structural beams on it as well. We also see this large conveyor structure that is being installed in the right hand side of the screen and that emanates from that raw materials processing facility. As I zoom in it looks like we've got another structure uh, being prepared here. This looks like it might be um, either for equipment or maybe a office to manage some of the processing here. And then of course a really good view of the superstructure and those very heavy uh, concrete bases for the rotary kiln and coolers. And the cooler on the left is jacketed with those uh, kind of the uh, white clamshells and that's part of the process to ensure that the material cools properly and is uh, then ejected at the uh, end of it and then is processed further to go into the hydrometallurgical processing portion of the factory which is on the left hand side. And from this vantage point it gives you a really good view of how this is continuing to be built out and we're flying over this open field and that's where the second half of the processing plant will be constructed. Now as I come in closer it gives you some really strong or close-in views of what's going on. We see a cooling unit with some Evapco fan units on the roof and that's in the center of the screen. This is similar to what we've seen at Giga Texas at the chiller plant for the battery cathode plant. And as I continue to fall uh, back towards the east and reveal more of this structure and how it is coming along, uh, it is important to note that this uh, facility is uh, an important link and input to the battery cathode plant at Giga Texas. So as this plant uh, processes the spodumene concentrate 6 and eventually sometime in the future some lithium clays and maybe some black mass battery recycling, the output would be lithium hydroxide which is then shipped up to the cathode plant at Giga Texas for further processing to make the 4680 battery cells. Uh, that will be used in vehicles. And at the bottom of the screen at the, where those tents are located, this is where we will see a final structure uh, can, uh, built and that will be uh, for that final processing and packaging of the lithium hydroxide. This is that field that I had mentioned that is getting some work on uh, both the left hand side and immediately at the bottom of the screen. We see some trench work underway right now and much of the work over the last, uh, I don't know, eight months was to prepare that entire site uh, doing soil stabilization and using lime also 
to strengthen the soil because of all of the clays. And that work's now completed, so they're doing that uh, trenching. And here's another good view of all of the materials that are being stored on this part of the site. And as I turn back to the left, a good overall view from a lower altitude of how the lithium plant is uh, uh, continuing to be uh, processed. Large parking lots for many of the workers, also for the contractors. And this is also a big change from what we've seen in the previous videos as there are many more vehicles, which implies many more people on the site as well. Now this structure of trailers is where most of the offices are uh, uh, right now for the contractors and for Tesla. We also see that archway, it says Tesla Lithium. And as I mentioned in the uh, video intro, this is where the groundbreaking took place. At that time, it was just the arch, nothing else. And now we can see considerably more of the uh, facility uh, from that to point of view of the archway. Now this uh, kind of channel underneath the drone is for water management and to level off the uh, north and south water detention ponds. And here's a closer view of this uh, cleared pad with some of the pipe work and manifold systems. And I think this is again related to water for the site. And as I pull away, we'll claim, climb up to a higher altitude. I'll give you a good overall view of how the lithium plant is uh, proceeding, the construction and its process here today. Uh, also on the bottom of the screen, you can see that central highway, the road that I showed you uh, at the beginning at the intro, uh, driving in and what your views would be, and also the railroad, which will be where the spur is uh, uh, connected and then run parallel to the left-hand side of the screen up to that raw materials processing facility. So I hope that you enjoyed this view of the Tesla lithium plant here near Corpus Christi and all of the updates. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it and I appreciate your support as well. Uh, take care and hopefully I'll be able to get back here soon so we can get another update. Take care.